Hi, my name is Mark and I work with Advanced Test Equipment. Today we are covering the 435 Series 2 Power Analyzer from Fluke. This power analyzer can do readings of 50 and 60 Hz. And we also carry the 437 Series 2 that can do readings up to 400 Hz with all the same capabilities as the 435. The 435 includes four 6,000 amp flex probes for measuring all three phases and neutral. We have a power adapter. And we have five voltage test leads and alligator clamps. This is where we connect our voltage leads. This is where we connect our current probes. And this is for the power input. These are our current probes hooked up to A, B, C, and neutral. Make sure they're on there securely. And these are the voltage test leads hooked up to A, B, C, neutral, and ground. Make sure they're on there securely. The unit boots to our setup screen where we can set our configuration and ranges. To edit them, we hit F4 for manual setup. And from here, we can set our power type configuration, our frequency, our voltage nominal, and our date and time. To ensure we have proper voltage and current connections, we hit the scope button. From here, we can see our A, B, and C waveforms, and they look good. And to check our phases, we hit F3, which is a phaser key. As you can see, our voltages and current lines look good. The unit automatically records, but to change our settings, we hit the logger key. And using the arrows, we can change our interval, the duration, and set whether it's an immediate recording or set the time, month, day, and hour, and minute of when you want the recording to start. And if you hit F2, you can change the name of your measurement. All the options in the menu screen automatically record. As you can see, we have a wide variety of available measurements and analysis, from dips and swells, harmonics, power energy, and on page two, there's flicker, transients, power wave, etc. We are going to do the volts, amps, hertz measurement. From this menu, we have the meter. We can also switch to trend and watch a live feed of our measurements. To take a screenshot of this, we hit save screen. To leave this menu, we must end our reading by hitting the hold run F5 button. And then you can choose either save or discard your data. To look at our memory, we hit the memory key and we hit F1 for recall or delete and we can look at our screenshots and measurements we have saved. The first thing we do is insert our Fluke 430 Series 2 product CD which has the manuals, power log software, and USB drivers into our computer. And to connect to the PC, on the left hand side there's a dust cover and underneath there there's a micro USB port. So using our supplied USB cable, we connect to that and then we connect the other end to our PC. Now to download your data from the 435 to your computer, either click on the blue arrow icon or go to the file menu and click download. Now once this screen is up, you just click download and it downloads all the information onto the computer and it sorts it into graphs. From this menu, there's a summary of all your statistics. There's a spreadsheet of all your checkpoints. There's a voltage and current graph. There's a bar graph and statistics for the upper and lower values. There's a frequency graph. And there's harmonics. Now, to save this data, you can either export certain items, pick what you want to export, or you can save the entire file by clicking the disk 